Hello, I am Dr. Gazendra Purohit. You are watching our YouTube channel where I upload videos for engineering, mathematics, BSc students. If you are preparing for any competitive exam, we are there. Is higher mathematics our channel is very helpful. Here I have started uploading videos on discrete mathematics and graph theory and I have already done a lot. I want to tell you that today I will be explaining and you will know about the minimal spanning tree. What is it and what is the Kruskal algorithm and the Prim's algorithm? How do we convert it into a minimal spanning tree? Right students. I am going to tell you, C students. We will talk about minimal spanning tree. Before that, if you haven't seen my old videos, then you can go to iTab and see the link in the description and in the comment pin. Now we will talk about minimal spanning tree. I want to tell you the concept of spanning tree I explained in the previous video. So watch that video so you don't have any trouble understanding it. Now what is a spanning tree? If we have a graph given to us, then all the subsets that are formed or the subgraphs that are formed which represent the tree. What are those called? So those are called the spanning trees. So here students we have that. Let G be the weighted graph. A minimal spanning tree of G is a spanning tree of G with minimum weight. So what do I do like I have this graph? So I made different, different, different spanning trees and this is a weighted graph. We also have weights here. So we need to see that which spanning tree has the least weight here. What is this called? This is called a minimal spanning tree. For example, like this graph given to us, first is the weighted graph. What is the weight? It's 2 plus 1, 3 plus. This 6, if we see here, it's 4 plus 3, 7 plus 2, 9. See the weight? It is 4, 3 and 7 and 1, 8. For this, it's 4 and 2, 6 and 1, 7. Let's see we have 2 here. Yes. So here we have this 7, 8, 9, 6. So the least is this one. And what would we call it? Minimal spanning tree will be of this graph. See, you saw students. This is how we calculate this. But the biggest problem for students here is that we have to make all the graphs. And then after that, we have to see that spanning tree which has the least weight. It takes a lot of time to extract. For that we have a algorithm. So, the first algorithm we have is Kruskal's algorithm. We can easily find out which of our spanning trees is minimal, right? We have one more method here and one more algorithm. This algorithm is known as Prim's algorithm. I will try to explain you from both the perspectives that how can we obtain the minimal spanning tree that we have by using an algorithm, right? And there are many questions from this in the exams. Now, we will talk on Kruskal algorithm. What is Kruskal's algorithm? So, whenever we have any graph which is given here, so students, the working rule is that to choose the edge of minimal weight. First, we will choose the edge whose weight is the least. So after at each step, choose the edge whose inclusion will not create a circuit, meaning a closed circuit is not being formed. It's not like we know that you want to make a minimal spanning tree and it became a graph because as soon as next circuit is made, it won't remain a tree, right? So we need to pay attention to that. G has n vertices stop n minus one edge. We uploaded a video earlier where I explained theorem. If we have any tree and there we have n vertices, then there the edges should be n minus one edge in the tree, right? So whenever you create a minimal spanning tree, make sure to check that if the number of vertices is n, then the number of edges should be n minus one. If this is the case, then it will be a minimal spanning tree. So you see, it's a story. We can understand this story by an easy way through example. If we have a question, you don't have to do anything. First of all, indicate the vertex that you have, right? Indicate whatever the vertex is. Don't worry. Listen, there's a slight misprint. The weight of this is 1. Pay attention and see what we will do. Now what you need to do, this is A with us, this is B with us, this is C with us, this is D and this is E given. Now, connect the one with least weight. First, its weight is less, then connect this one. Then, here its weight is less. Connect it right, now this weight is less. Connect this one right. And now we have 3 and 4. So, which one of these two can we pick? We'll take 3, right? That's it. Now you will say connect 4 if you connect. Then this circuit will be complete. If you wish to connect further not possible. You can't do anything as on trying. It will become a closed circuit and the tree will disappear. And the last step that we had was in a given figure if we have vertices n so edges should be n minus 1. So we have vertex 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 edges should be 4. So 1 edge, 2 edge, 3 edge and 4 edge it is perfect. This means we have a minimal spanning tree. What we can do with it? How much is the weight? 3. Plus 1, plus 2, plus 1. We have 3 and 1, 4 and 2, 6 and 1, 7. So the total weight will be 7. And what will this be? Minimal spanning tree and this is known as Kruskal algorithm. This way we can figure it out. 
let's move forward we can understand it we will talk about prim's algorithm what is it whenever we have prim's algorithm concept is bit different here select any vertex you can choose any vertex there we had the minimum weight one we chose that one here you can start from any place and then what we will do here at each stage choose the edge of the smallest weight at every step we will check here what we will do we will check which one is the smallest weight edge then we will connect it continue until the vertices are included here every vertex should be included we will continue doing this till there i will give you an example so we will try to understand this from example suppose we have this then first you indicate all the vertex here this is coming this is coming then this coming and this one coming okay students so this is a this is b this is c this is d and this is e right firstly we can start from anywhere let's say i start from e right you can also start with b let's start with b right we start with b in b we have three edge connected we have three edge connected 3 3 and 2 so which one is the minimum i will connect that here it is now i am on c right we have come to c so from c we have 3 3 1 now c i have connected this i have made this connection right we should keep the possibility 3 1 3 3 right this is coming to us and if we look at b then 3 3 3 is coming so 3 3 3 3 3 and 1 which is the minimum 1 is coming what we will do what else is there c will go to e where will this c go it will go to e and this will be 1 right now we have arrived here this one is over now we came to we have came to e what all are coming to e one this is coming one this is coming this is coming but we have the possibility that is behind you will have to include this is coming 3 this is coming 3 and this is also coming as 3 so 3 3 3 3 and 2 from here we will take 2 so from here this will come right this is with us now this is here meaning this is connected to us is it clear now what didn't connect to students let's erase it once okay so that the possibilities we have remain intact right now where are we on the d now from d what possibility is coming only one possibility is coming 3 is coming and here 3 is coming okay now let's see e so from e what are we getting only 3 okay now we are talking about c so c also has 3 right now we go here here also we have 3 so we have 3 3 possibilities at each place right from e4 is coming so the most minimum we have is 3 3 is coming so we can connect any one with this with which now which one should we connect see this this can happen but this is coming as 4 this is not to be taken now from here we connect this right so i am connecting this from here what do we have it's 3 we can take some other combination also you can take from d to a then we can take it this can be done so to you a question might come that if i can do this then i can do that also here more minimal spanic tree are possible but you need to pay attention that you need to choose a weight that is less right here if we see this one and this one is coming less you can take it no problem just closed circuit should not be formed problem will arise if closed circuit is there i am telling that you are going from b to e and this is also 3 you tell me sir should i connect this you can't do it if you connect it then this will be closed we need to be careful about it will have this or this out of these two any one is possible right all edges are connected we have minimal spanning tree we can count the weight what is it 2 plus 1 plus 2 plus 3 3 and 2 5 and 1 6 7 8 8 so eight. what do we have here weight will be there and this what we have here is the minimal spanning tree right let's move forward we will talk about finding the minimal spanning tree by kruskal algorithm how do we find minimal spanning tree by kruskal algorithm so what we do is we indicate all the vertex we have here so that it will be fine for us so students this will come a b c d e and f is it clear now we are connecting all the minimum weight we have once so the minimum weight here is 2 this is also 2 right we have connected both of them right now we have 3 coming in right so we have 3 here connect this 1 3 we have this coming connect this we have 1 3 coming in connect it right besides that we have all the big ones or the biggest ones now tell me should i connect if i connect this then the circuit will be made if you want to connect this it will become circuit and will be a closed loop it will be a problem if it will be connected then it will be done now here you can see that you know our third point was that the number of vertex we have what should the edges be it should be one less so we have six vertex coming in and the edge is 1 2 3 4 5 so this is what we get a minimal spanning tree right now let's check wait what is it it's 2 it is 2 this is 3 this is 3 and this is 3 count the weight how much is it so students it will be 3 plus 2 plus 3 plus 2 plus 
So listen, we have total weight which is 13. What will we get for this? We will get its weight. This is how you can easily solve this question. Next, we'll talk about finding the minimal spanning tree for the graph using Kruskal and Prim's algorithm. We need to do with both algorithm. So first, I use the Kruskal algorithm, right? So first of all, let's talk about Kruskal, right? How do you use it by Kruskal? So first of all, students, let's make all the vertex that we have right here so that it will be good for us here, students. So this will come as A, B, C, D, E, F, right? Now we go on. So first C, we have the minimum weight coming. I will connect this to this. It's gone then, where is 2? 2, we have it coming here, so it will connect to this 2. So this will be removed here, right? We have a 2 here, so we will take it one more time to connect it. So it's 2 now. Let's see what comes next. Listen, it's 3, right? So 3 is coming here, so we will connect it. So what will we have? 3 will come, right? Next, what we have? 3, 1 here also. Like this, I will do it. So this will make a closed circuit. So we can't connect this 3 here. It will be a loop upon connecting, so not possible. We have 3, it's not possible. Then we only have 4 left. What can we do? 4 is also forming, 5 is also forming. We'll take the minimum 4. This will be done, students, and what we will get? It's minimal spanning tree and the weight that we will be having is 4. The weight of this will be what we have here. Here it was 3, right? This was also one we had, so add this. See how much weight is coming. So 2 plus 3 plus 1 plus 2 plus 4. Okay, students. So 3 and 2 is 5 and 1 is 6 and 6, so we have 12. Let's talk about the Prim's algorithm. So I'll take the Prim's algorithm in a different color. So whenever we do Prim's algorithm, students, the concept that we have and that we use is that we pick any edge and before that we make all the vertex. So here, students, we will make all the vertex that we have here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and 6, right? So this will come as A, B, C, D. F any e, right, so grab any corner, students. Suppose I grab this E then, if I grab E, what does E have? 1, 2, 3, 6. So I will take 1 from here. The minimum is 1 and we took it. We are here. Now it's gone. So we've reached C. This is coming. This is coming. 5, 6 coming here, right? And here we have 2, 3, 6 among uh, 2, 3, 6, 5, 6. The minimum is 2. So it will come 2, right? This is 1. This is 2, right? Now we are here, right? Now what is happening here, pay attention. We have A, E and C and we will take all of their connected edges, right? We will see the minimum, right? So here, this will be 4, 3. At E we have 3, 6 and at C we have 6, 5. We can't take 6, 5, 3, 6. We can take this and we can take this one. So I will take this one, right? So I took this 3. It came here, right? Now we have reached F. This 3 we have taken, we have reached here. Now look F, A, E and C. Among all the edges that we have of these, we will see which one has the minimum weight. Now we'll see that. Here we have 2 coming. See, there is 2 coming with F. I think nothing is smaller than 2. This would connect to it. Now see, here this B vertex, this remains, so we need to connect it. We can connect this vertex here or connect into this. Besides, these two, no other options are there. It's what we have. Nothing else can be done. So what do we have here? By using the Prim's method, its minimal spanning tree will be found, right? And what is its weight? Let's see what we will have. This will come to us 2 plus 3, right? This 3 was coming to us as its weight, right? Plus 4, plus 2, plus 1. So what do we get from here? We'll see 3 and 2, 5. 5 and 4, 9, 10, 12. So from here, what do we get? It is same. So you use any method, ultimately the tree that we get, it should be with the minimum weight and the weight in both cases will be the same, right? So this is how we solve it. Let's talk about finding minimal spanning tree by Prim's method. So how do we find the minimal spanning tree using the Prim's method? So we'll do the same thing. We'll first highlight all the vertex we have so that the problem is solved, right? Now we have A, B, C, D and E, right? So first what we will do is we will take any one corner. We will start from B and if we start it will be 1, 4, 6, 1. So weight 1 that we are getting is the least. So I should connect it here and I can do this as well. Now I have connected it and I come here to this. So in A and B we have a vertex connected to A. The edge coming from A and connecting to A is 2. This is 6 and this is 1. The minimum we have is this. So this will become 1. Now you are here. So this, this and this are getting connected. Where is the minimum weight of the number of edges coming from? We have 2 coming from here, 4 coming from here, 3 from here and this 5 coming from here. So we will take the 2. So we will take this, right? So listen, we've reached here, right? This is also done. Now what do we have? A is finished. From A everything is done, right? 
and from C we have 5, 4 and from here we have 6 and from D we have 3. So, it is understood that 3 is the minimum. So, what will we get? We will get this clear. So, what we have is all the vertices are connected and that means every vertex we have. The number of edges we have is one less than vertices. This happens in Kruskal does not happen in Prems, right. Here I want to tell that all the vertex we have are connected. The edge we are having are less from number of vertices. Now you will see 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5 vertex are coming. So, this is perfect. So, what will we have? The minimal spanning tree and we will add it and how much is the weight? It is 3 plus 1 plus 1 plus 2. So, that will be 3 plus 1 is 4 plus 1 is 5 and plus 2 is 7. So, the answer will be 7. This will be the weight. This way we can solve concept easily by this method. Thank you so much for watching. You can see full playlist on discrete mathematics and graph theory. If you want to practice multiple choice questions or if you want to learn short tricks for multiple choice questions, go here to watch my videos and here subscribe to my new channel. Follow me on Instagram here. Thank you for watching. Like, share and subscribe to this channel. Make sure to press the notification bell so you don't miss any upcoming videos. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.